Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to back up a trailer, how to handle a trailer. And this video is meant for you if you do not know how to back up a trailer. If you already know how to back up a trailer, comment below and tell me what you think about this video. But if you do not know how to back up a trailer, hopefully this video will help you. So, couple things. Number one, uh, the longer the trailer, the easier it is for you to back it up. Uh, this is a 16 foot trailer, so it's not too hard to back up. Uh, like I say, the longer the better. The shorter trailers, uh, they jackknife a lot quicker, they react a lot quicker. Where the, where the uh, longer the trailer, the more the, the predictable, uh, the more predictable the trailer will be. Uh, again, also, uh, shorter the wheelbase, the easier it's going to be for you to co correct the trailer. The longer the wheelbase, it'll tow better, but it will be harder to correct the trailer. So let's jump in the truck and do some maneuvering here in this empty parking lot that we have. And I'll show you guys some maneuvering. And also there's a camera up here on the truck so that we can see what the trailer is doing back there. So anyway, let's get inside the truck. All right, so inside the truck here, and we got an empty parking lot, so let's go ahead and do some maneuvering. Uh, hopefully you can see that in the mirror. That's kind of what you see from the driver's point of view. Uh, I'll be just having to do this with one hand here, but anyway. Um, so yeah, you want to be able to control the trailer, obviously. Now this truck doesn't have any fancy cameras or anything. It's just an old 04 F-150. So when you drive the truck forward, obviously the trailer gets behind you perfectly. So I drove forward a little bit. Now the trailer's right behind me. Now I'm going to attempt to go straight back with the trailer, uh, as you see in the mirror. So uh, what you do is you put it in reverse. And just because we pulled it straight, it will go straight behind you for a period of time if you just leave the wheel straight. But eventually, it's going to kick either to the right or the left just naturally. So let's just leave the wheel straight and back up. And watch what happens. It's going to kick right or left. I don't know which way it will. But there you see, it's starting to react and it's starting to kick to the left. So no matter what you do, it's always going to do that. It's always going to kick out so it it's it is a little bit difficult to actually go re in reverse when you haven't done this before if you haven't had experience so now i'm going to show you guys how to go straight back and when i was trained on how to back up a trailer i had to learn on a semi truck with no power steering it was brutal and the teachers weren't that good they kind of told me like oh if you want to go straight back then just let go and go straight back and i never it that really didn't work that way of training didn't work for me so the way i keep the trailer behind me or the way i go straight back is you have to understand that you have to keep the truck in front of the trailer so as i go straight back the wheel straight as you see the wheel straight now starting to kick over now watch this I'm gonna turn a little bit the wheel just a little bit to my left to, pre to prevent the truck from going left now I'm gonna overcompensate and now the truck wants to go eventually it's gonna either kick to the right or to the left it's gonna take some time because I corrected it but it is starting to kick to the left now, once it starts doing that, watch what I do with the wheel. It's starting, I'm sorry, it's starting to kick to the right now because I've overcompensated. So now once it's doing that, watch what I do with the wheel. I turn to the right and get the truck back in front of, back in front of the trailer. So as you see with the on uh, outboard camera, what's happening is I'm getting back in front of the trailer, as you can see. So. Uh, it's just a matter of turning the direction. You know, whenever people talk about how to back up a trailer, they say, oh, well, they kind of have these rule of thumb, these rules of thumb or these general rules where, oh, just turn right to go left or whatever. But I like to think of it as, as getting the truck, it's getting kind of warm in here, getting the truck back in front of the trailer is how I like to think about it. So... You know, when the, when the trailer backs up, it's gonna turn. 
when the truck backs up, it's going to create a, a bend between the truck and the trailer. So here's the bend. See that bend forming? As it forms, you want to turn the wheel in a way to undo that bend. And the way to undo this is to turn the wheel to the right. That kicks the tires out and boom, it gets the truck back in front of the trailer. Once the truck is in front of the trailer, it's just good to keep, if you want to go straight back, to keep the truck in front of the trailer. Now, one trick to go straight back is to always course correct either right or left, kind of working the wheel right or left like so, and you could go relatively straight back using your mirrors, just watching the line of the truck and the trailer, understanding that it's never, it's never going to uh, trail backwards like it does when it goes forward. It's always going to cut a little uh, to, it's always going to be a little bit off and you can always course correct. So I'm going to take this truck, this truck across this whole parking lot straight back here. And I'm just going to use that technique of going between the center here, cor course correcting and, uh, and you know, I, so right away, I don't know which way it's going to kick. Okay, there we go. Just course correct a little bit. Let's see the wheel here. Boom. Just course correct a little bit, course correct a little bit. Now, if I want to go in a certain direction, like say if I want to for sure hit the other end of the lot, I can let it kind of get a little bit more out of hand. But in general, just course correcting like this and keeping the line of the trailer, kind of using the mirrors to see and understanding that it's not going to go straight back on you. You have to constantly course correct for it. This truck, though, right now, I'm going to be honest, it seems like it really does almost want to go straight back for me. Like it's really aligned somehow really good. Like it just wants to go straight back almost before it starts to jackknife. But anyway, let's do some more maneuvers and let's just uh, see kind of how it looks inside of the truck here. So uh, let's see if we can do some different stuff. So uh, let's go up here and try to back up and See if I can go around the parking lot in reverse. All right, so here we go. I'm going to try to go around the parking lot in reverse. So, first of all, watch the mirror. This is how it looks from the driver's point of view. I'm going to go straight back, keeping a trailer behind me, keeping it behind me. So that's the way to think about it. Keep the trailer behind you. Now, as you get close, we're going to allow the trailer to react now this is how I like to back up the trailer I like to let it allow I like to let the trailer react to the truck now I'm gonna turn this trailer to the right to my right so I'm gonna have the trailer and truck end up to the right now the way I'm gonna do that is by introducing uh, a bend into the trailer so causing a reaction so what I'm gonna do is go backwards and I'm going to turn the wheel a little bit to my left, allowing the truck to become unstable, unbalanced. But then I'm going to go back straight because this this unbalanced nature is going to magnify as time goes on. As I keep going backwards, that's going to increase more and more. So just by doing it now early, you're setting yourself up for the trailer to end up uh, where you want it. So boom, it's starting to jackknife and then you want to catch it before it's too late. If you jackknife too far, then the trailer will end up hitting the truck and you don't want that. Um, then you want to course correct for it. Uh, course correct, course correct, boom. So now, and now I'm gonna get back in front of the trailer. So go, what I'm doing guys is making my way in a circle in reverse. So now that I've made my turn, I'm gonna get back in the trailer and in front of the trailer, I mean, by cutting the wheel. Now. I want to turn again, like I said, I want to go around the, the parking lot, so I'm going to cut again. And this is where it gets confusing, like you never know which way you want to cut in order to get it to go where you want, and the best thing you can do is simply just practice, like come into an empty parking lot, go into an empty parking lot, and just practice, because it is kind of second nature, uh, you just have to have some uh, experience with it. So in order to get the trailer to go that way to get the trailer to go that way I'm gonna have to turn the wheel I think that way I want to say so boom let's see what if, I, if I'm right 
So it's going to be counterintuitive. I want to turn the wheel that way. Now, once I've kind of done that, I also want to straighten out and let the reaction happen. So you want to, when you're backing up, you want to be thinking ahead of time. You don't want to think in the way of, I'm going to put this trailer back here. The thought process has to take place a little bit sooner than it does when you're just backing up a truck by itself. Because you have to think about how the trailer is going to bend, how it's going to react, and how you are going to catch it and get back in front of it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just bending the trailer just to start it. And then I'm going to go ahead and allow the truck to go to be straight to be straight back. The truck's pushing the trailer straight back, understanding that the bend is going to continue. The bend is going to continue to get magnified. And if I don't correct this bend, it's going to eventually jackknife. And that's when the truck hits the trailer and you don't want to do that. But looking out the back window here, see how it's getting over. Now I want to catch it all the way. Now, I might have went too far. It is possible to go too far to the point where you can't catch it. We'll see. If you go too far, you might not be able to catch it, but I'm going full lock turn. It looks like I'm catching it just right. And now look where we are positioned. Uh, I've, so Okay, so I've overshot this a little bit, and that's okay. Essentially, the trailer isn't going to get... The truck's not going to get in front of the trailer and be able to go straight back so i can just go forward a little bit so that i can go straight back undo some of that put it back in reverse and boom get back in front of it so i can go straight back without ending up in the middle of the lot but at the end at the you know going down the side of the lot not pointed toward the middle so boom here we go straight back just working my way back watching my surroundings correct and this is like I say the best thing you can do is just practice in a parking lot now here we are this is what I mean when I say you have to think about it ahead of time now if I'm gonna turn this truck if I'm gonna reverse this truck and trailer around this lot I have to be thinking about making that turn now in order to make that turn I'm gonna introduce uh, I'm gonna introduce a bend into the truck and trailer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my wheel like this add that bend into the trailer uh, figure out I mean this comes by feel but that's how much I'm gonna put in right now in the start then I'm gonna straighten it out <laughs> I'm gonna straighten it out this is straight once I've put that bend into the trailer it's gonna continue to magnify that bend as I go backwards watch what happens the trucks going straight backwards so as much as possible I want the truck to go straight backwards in order to control the trailer. Now I'm gonna course correct by turning this way to get the truck back in front of the trailer. And if I over correct, I can take some out, put some in, but I'm gonna be able to control the trailer. Boom, now we're getting back in front of it. There we go, we're able to get the trailer in front of uh, back the truck back in front of the trailer now I'm gonna turn it again and before I get to the end I gotta be thinking like okay how am I gonna maneuver what am I gonna what am I gonna cause the trailer in the truck to do in order to make this turn so what I'm gonna do again I'm going to turn this way with the wheel to introduce a bend into the trailer so that the truck can end up over where I want it now, there's a couple different things you can do also. You can look out of your back mirror or back window if you can, if you have the ability to. There's nothing wrong with doing that, especially in the start. Uh, you can look out of that. A lot of people find that easier. Or you could just use your mirrors, but you could use it all. You know, use everything that you have to your disposal. Now, sometimes you won't be able to look out. Now, check it out. I'm turning all the way to the right, all the way this way, and I'm correcting the bend in the trailer all right and I'm undoing the bend right now all I'm doing is undoing the bend I'm undoing the bend now I want to go straight back with the with the truck I want to go straight back so this is overcompensated so I can go ahead and pull up undo some of it and then back back up pulling the truck and trailer more in line 
that's good enough. I can still straighten that out. I'm rather just back up and straighten it out. So yeah, as you see, just there is control. Oh, almost lost it. <laughs> just gotta pay attention and keep control. Every different wheelbase will react differently. Every different length of a trailer will react differently uh, based on what you're driving, what you're pulling with. If you get a new trailer, if you're in a different trailer, it's gonna react a little different and it might throw you off a little bit. It's nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right, so pulling a trailer, this is extra credit. Pulling the trailer is important as well as backing up the trailer. Um, now, you want to be able to make your turns. You have to be aware that the turning is not the same when you don't have a trailer because the trailer is so long. If you just turn normally, you're going to swipe things. You can take out signs. Say, for example, there's a stop sign right here. And if I try to turn right, like there's no trailer back there, then my trailer will go up on a curb and it'll wipe out that stop sign. So what you do, first of all, always stop behind the stop sign just in case there's a pedestrian and turn on your blinker. Now, what you do is you turn a little late, uh, you pull forward, pull forward, pull forward, and you turn late. That way your trailer doesn't hit your curb. Now, sometimes you might have to let someone else go first. Sometimes you might have to get over. Now, turning left is a little bit easier, but you still have to turn late. It's like you're still going straight and then you just turn late. And that's because if there's a car there, you don't want your trailer to cut a car off or hit a car. You have to watch out for that. You can easily, easily, you know, with a 16 foot trailer, you could easily uh, accidentally clip something, run into something. You don't want to have that. You gotta be aware that the trailer is really wide. You gotta check your mirrors often, check your rear view, make sure your, tra your trailer gate didn't fall down. Uh, make sure your equipment's not hanging off of the trailer things like that if you got a big enclosed trailer you got to watch for the trees you might be going down the road and smack up a tree um but yeah let's uh stop here at the sign always stop behind the sign because if you're if you're stopping after the sign and someone's riding a bike and then you can't stop quick enough you could uh take them out and that wouldn't be good but yeah but yeah, you definitely want to make sure you turn wide, you turn a little late, you let the trailer, you understand that this trailer is behind you. Uh, you have to turn late in order to prevent hitting, leave extra space, you know, between the parked cars, there's a curb line, you can look in your mirror and you can see the tire, the tire in relation to the curb. Now stop behind your stop signs because you never know, it might take you a little bit more time to stop. And there could be someone crossing the street there. You don't want to run them over. You know, a biker comes flying at 50 miles an hour. Maybe not quite so fast, but maybe 20 miles an hour, 25. And here you are with a truck and trailer. Now watch how late. I'm not going to go down there. It's a dead end. Never mind. Didn't realize that was a dead end. Watch how this turn is executed. Now, this is the wrong way to turn right here. This is absolutely wrong. This is a dead end too. Wow, I didn't know that. That's too, I mean, it's okay if there's no one there, but if there's a car there and you're turning like that, you're gonna have some issues. So, wow, what is this? Looks like I got into a bind. Oh, it's starting to snow. Look at the snow. Wow, oof. snowing pretty hard how am I gonna get out of here so I'm in a little bit of a tight spot I don't know if this this is too tight of a circle for the truck I think Let's see if I can get out of this these dead ends man I didn't realize that uh, this was a dead end like that so this is kind of difficult because I can't see oncoming traffic back there and I can't I mean I kind of can Let's see if I can see oncoming traffic this is not cool I probably could make that turn but yeah I could see oncoming traffic enough to get out of this let's see here yeah I could tell so yeah I just had to do a little maneuver there to get out of this correct 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 
All right, and we're out. So yeah, uh, let's find some turns here that aren't dead ends. But yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it then for the video.